What is up you sexy beasts? Welcome to another video. Let's get straight into this one, eh? No mucking around. I'm sure you guys are aware of the kind of Matt Fraser rich froning drama. If you saw my video or anyone else's video yesterday, Basically, Matt was on a podcast where he discussed his relationship with Rich and he made a few claims about being cut from the, the CrossFit Mayhem kind of crew and uh, just feels like he's been excluded or cut off. And so just a short 48 hours later, we had some kind of response from Rich. I think it was in the form of a, a Instagram Live or a YouTube Live. I can't actually find the video anywhere, um, but if you haven't seen it, here it is. There's always two sides to every story, but there are some bold lies and some inaccuracies definitely in that, um, in the, uh, I don't know, like an interview, podcast, so go ahead, no it's allowed, go ahead. I haven't actually watched it, these guys are kind of filling me in on what it's, uh, um, what was yeah but here's the deal is Gary is there's always two sides of every story um, and definitely I think there's some misunderstandings uh, for sure um, and you know it's, it's hard for people like um, us I guess alpha alpha males just wouldn't say it uh, to get along you know, we're not going to be best friends uh, but like I said there's some bold faced lies in there from what I'm hearing from these guys uh, it's unfortunate you know I thought um, I wouldn't have said we were best friends I would have thought we were good enough friends I actually reached out to him and, uh, right before stage one and you know there's always been kind of a weird air between us in the last couple of years and when he first moved down here um, this is when I had some like me stuff going on and I didn't want to be around somebody that could do any and everything and I couldn't do anything. I couldn't squat for probably two years with either tendonitis, uh, really bad, or the meniscus. And so, um, you know, I, kind of, I guess I did in the beginning kind of shut him out and I don't know if it snowballed from there and it was almost like ch he was chasing ghosts and, um, just, you know, a lot of just, I guess, lack of communication in the beginning, but, um, just sucks, like I said, to have uh, what it sounds like my character and, and stuff like that um, lied about, which um, is unfortunate. So, um, yeah, like I said, I yeah, know you guys say you don't care, but um, just wanted you guys to know that um, there's a couple things in there. Like I said, some of them are, you know, he said, she said, or his, his side of the story, my side of the story. It's really, there's no story. It's just like... Um, it just is what it is and uh, it just sucks like I said I even reached out to him right before stage one and I'll just address a couple three things that I know that stuck out thanks Gary um, three things that stuck out were uh, that we wouldn't let them train at the gym during quarantine it was when they first locked the gym down we didn't know what the laws were, we didn't know what the rules were, you know, we, if we were going to get shut down, if we had, you know, just our employees there. And, and looking back, I wish I would have just said, you know what, screw it, you guys can train. Um, but the last three years or two and a half years, he's had a key to the, to the gym. So uh, it's really weird that that's one of the hang-ups he had, or he had. Um, and then as far as them not being allowed to do road or stage one at the gym, that was all because we had a level one and a level two there that weekend. Um, that got rescheduled because of COVID, and then they were scheduled six months out or however many months out. Um, so it was just, I don't know. And I offered the barn. And then the fact that he says we hadn't talked in two and a half years is a bold-faced lie as well, because we have, have talked a couple times. Um, you know, we're not best buddies, but uh, I would have said we were friends before that. You know, there's like I said, we're never going to be best friends. We don't have a ton in common. Uh, but is what it is and like I said it's unfortunate uh, it's just crazy to me that uh, it's on a podcast and all this stuff and uh, yeah, just, just uh, it's kind of crazy so there it is there um, let's get to the fun stuff and do some fitness so I honestly don't think there's anything more than this story than just classic bloke behavior. Classic boys just not communicating their feelings, not communicating at all, and uh, not sharing their heart. That's all I think it is here. 
Now, I don't know if Rich has a cold in this video, like a head cold like me, because his eyes look a bit teary, his voice sounds a bit shaky. I don't know whether it's something like that or whether he's actually physically um, shook up by this. I think he might be genuinely gutted. I know what it feels like for your character to be put in question or to be challenged. It is a gutting feeling when someone questions your character and your values. And uh, I reckon he might actually be quite upset or quite um, gutted about this whole thing. That's what it looks like to me. Like towards the end of the video, it almost sounds like he's uh, about to cry or it just sounds quite shaky. Now, there's obviously some kind of confusion between Matt and Rich because Rich clearly says in this video that he thought they were good enough friends. Up until this podcast, he thought that they were decent friends. You know, they, he says that they would never be best friends, but as far as he was concerned, there was nothing, uh, nothing between them. Which is interesting because Matt clearly thinks that there is something going on, so uh, there's definitely something missing somewhere. I find it super interesting that Rich talks about his sore knee and not being able to do squats or things of that nature for a couple of years and that was around the time when Matt moved to, uh, to Cookville as well and Rich actually admits that he probably shut him out uh, in the early days because he didn't want to be around someone who could train fully and not be able to kind of participate. I do find that really fascinating because I mean Rich was not competing with Matt anymore at that stage and surely he's got lots of other people around him that are doing squatting and you know training to their fullest capacity and he's having to kind of witness that so it is interesting that he didn't want to see Matt train fully. I'm just not quite sure what Rich's reasons are for not wanting to see Matt train or squat or I don't know I find that a bit odd I'm not quite sure what the but again it's probably it's an alpha male thing I just didn't think that Rich was the kind of person who would care about that stuff but um, but if he is that's totally fine. I don't know what it's like to be an alpha male and to have another alpha male come in the gym and train around me. So who am I to judge, you know? What do you call yourself if you're not an alpha male? Uh, beta male, is that the right word? I'm probably more like a Cita, Dita male. But yeah, Rich admits in the video to shutting him out and he also says that there was a lack of communication. So I think that's exactly it. He just kind of, he nails it on the head. That's the issue. The issue was you shut him out with no communication. Simple as that. And again, that's just classic bloke behavior. We just don't know how to communicate properly. We don't know how to share our feelings with another male proper, properly. And I think uh, that's really all the issue is here. Uh, Matt wasn't told why Rich didn't want him around. He should have just said, mate, my knee is buggered and uh, I don't want to see you squat the world on your back while I just sit by and watch. But I do truly believe that Rich didn't think there was an issue or he wasn't aware of a major issue up until now. He says that there is no story, you know, like uh, I think he's really surprised and gutted that this has come out the way it has. So uh, I, d I don't believe that he um, has been thinking about, you know, this thing that's been going on with him and Matt. Um, I don't think that was a reality in his head. And then lastly, it is a bit strange that their stories about the Rogue Invitational and the stage one of the CrossFit Games don't line up. Rich has a pretty solid explanation. He said there was uh, level one seminars happening on both those weekends. So again, I just don't know why that wasn't communicated because obviously Matt, that's not part of Matt's story. He doesn't, he never knew that there were, he never knew that that was the reason that they weren't allowed to use a gym. Um, either he didn't know or he's just blatantly lying, which again, I don't know why he would do that. So yeah, my conclusion, and hopefully this is the end of this, um, I don't know if we'll hear back from Matt again, but uh, my conclusion is, this is just blokes being blokes, and uh, because these guys are in the spotlight, they are really high level athletes, um, the community watches their lives, and comments on it, and um, I guess us humans, we like drama, and uh, that's why there's been videos made about this, that's why it's been discussed, and uh, I can imagine that it's going to suck for these guys to have this hanging over their heads. I really hope that they can get together, talk it out, and just uh, move on from it. Because I think they both want to be part of a sport going forwards um, into the future, you know, in whatever capacity that is, as an athlete or just an ambassador for the sport. And uh, I can't imagine it being very nice for either of them to have this hanging over their head. So I'm sure they will sort it out. I'm looking forward to that. I'm looking forward to seeing how that happens. Anyway, guys, thanks for being here. Please, if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, if you found my video just through recommendations and on YouTube, I'd love for you to stick around, subscribe, like, comment, and uh, be part of the Sexy Beast tribe. Guys, keep roaring love, stay sexy, and I'll, uh, I'll see you real soon. Bye.